There we go. And then the other thing is ah, scratch, scratch, scratch. Okay, let's go. So, continue this. Oh, I have to set a gold up, don't I? Let's see what they recommend. They're going to recommend 10 every time, but <laughs> let's increase that because I hit that last one pretty quickly. There we go. So what was I doing? Oh yeah, going to hello work. Oh, hello street thugs. Pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's a dragon fish. A, a dragon, dragon fish? fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. Wait, then why didn't you get one? In the Yakuza business, a dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. Okay. A fresh faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow, that's for real. Um, well, I guess a dragon fish is pretty cool too. Right? I'm into it. Someday I want to earn my place, and then my dragonfish is gonna shine even brighter than a dragon. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Big, huh? In that case, maybe I ought to start to find a job. Yeah. Battle bum. Okay. <laughs> hungry, hungry, homeless. <laughs> This. You're in it now. Have fun with this. Ah. The enemy is defeated. By the way, you've got a very go. crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's dragon a dragon fish. fish. A dragon fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. Wait, then why didn't you get one? Right. In the Yakuza business, a dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. A fresh-faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow. Um. That's for real? Well, I guess a dragon fish is pretty cool too. Right? No one tell them about Kiryu. Someday I want to earn my place. And then my dragonfish is gonna shine even brighter than a dragon. <laughs> Dreaming big, huh? In that case, 
Maybe I ought to start by finding a job. Yeah. Sorry, little dragonfish. Okay. Hello, random people. Threatening men. Capitalist punisher. <laughs> Burnout bully. Watch this. Have fun with this. I got this. No god. Don't want to know. Really just don't want to know. Hmm? I didn't think there'd be so many people. Right? Young ones, too. How old are you? 42. What about you? <laughs> 41, if I remember right. Damn, that makes me feel old. Hey, age ain't this... nothing but a number. We got something better. <laughs> this game starts you off with passion, sure. As you two guys in the middle age. So, you know well. These other losers? <sighs> Matsuo san, I can smell the liquor on you. To be considered for a placement being sober is mandatory. Damn. Please come back when you're ready. Bitch. Like I'll ever come here again. Next, please. Yes, Next. I'm ready and able. You left your current residence blank. Um, a little tricky. But I'm committed to working, and I don't drink. I can explain. Well, normally you need an address, but I think we can make an exception. Okay. So, I'm hired. Just write the address of where you grew up. Oh, but uh, I don't have an address for that either. Right. Have you always lived on the streets? I'd like to refer you to our support center then. What's that? It's where you can get a checkup and some basic computer skills. But some basic. Wait, wait. I don't need all that stuff. I just need a job. Right. Sorry, but that's our policy for people with a background like yours. Please, ma'am. He's not We're always really been on the street. The problem is, while he was in jail, the. That's our policy, sir. Next, please. Wait, hold on a minute. I need to out of the way. Problem is, while he was in jail, some guy with one eye may have, may or may not have driven a truck into his uh, where he was raised. Did your passion win them over? Shut up. They didn't like me either. For a hobo, when God closes a door, he closes a window while he's at it. <laughs> Damn. Well, fellas, we tried, right? Any other losers want to go and get a drink? Drown our sorrows. Right. We're not losers. We're gonna try something else. Uh, oh, don't fool yourself. I can tell you're homeless like me. This was such a waste of time. I could have been doing something productive. Like, like. Oh. Don't get salty yet. We can figure this out. Hey, either of you guys looking for work? Yes. Yeah. Tried at the desk. They don't give jobs to the homeless. Tough break. So I assume you're still looking, right? Yes. Yep. I think we gotta try to look less unemployable. You don't look so unemployable to me. <laughs> Heck, you're wearing that? a suit. <laughs> a filthy one. But hey, thanks for noticing. You're a man of taste. Sure. So you guys interested in doing some work tonight? Uh, okay. I'm not the one hiring. But there's this bar on the other side of the Sakura River. It's called the Harbor Light. The mama there needs a job done by a couple of guys tonight. What's the job? 
bartending? I don't know what it is, but I know it pays 5,000 yen. Cool. Pretty good money, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Want to check it out, Kasuga? Sure. Hey, thanks, old man. That is really very nice. We can always count on you for help and friendly advice. Sir, that's not following standard procedure. Oh. Hmm? Don't know what you're talking about. Right? I saw you. That's a violation, you know. Oh, but, you know, not everything is so black and white. Right. I'm just filling a gap in the market. <sighs> you are a loose cannon, Director. Director? Oh, well. Onward to new job. Run, Ichi, run. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <gasps> Wait, turn around. Side quest. Or could I have just gone through? Whatever. Just in case. Worry this far away. Hello, friends. Would you like to talk about our Lord and Savior, my fierce? Okay. Battle but hungry, hungry, homeless. The names of some of these enemies still makes me just makes me laugh. The battle bum. The battle bomb got me. Okay. Oh yeah, this unlocks the this sub story unlocks the um what do they call it? The pawn shop. Whoa! What the hell's going on there? Right? This is a freaking dump. Uh, supposedly it's a pawn shop. Huh? Pawn shop? <laughs> it's more like a hoarder's house. Right. Are really getting customers like that? Nope. Mm, I've never seen anyone buy anything from here. It's such an eyesore. Officials from the public office have had to come talk with the owner a couple times now. But... The owner said it was all merchandise, and that he'd sue if they tried anything. They haven't been able to reach an agreement since. Damn. Merchandise, huh? Oh, it smells terrible. And it attracts all sorts of bugs, too. It's a nightmare. Ugh, Sounds like it. Do something about it. Definitely would be rough to have this in the neighborhood. Right. But hopefully it won't be long. Okay, that at least started the sub story. So, I was about to say, there better be a the stairs down. Okay, so... I have to go... that way. Follow the river and through the woods. Catch the insect oh, I go. Man, I gotcha. Last time I caught a bug was back when I was a kid. Never know when you might need a bug on your side. I'll keep it. 
Um, okay. Concerning, but okay. Lola. Punkling and a steampunk. Okay. All right. Have fun with this. I got this. Watch this. <laughs> Seriously, someone actually showed up. Pigeon raid. Fear the pigeons. When you have this, when you have a mage that just uses the power of pigeons. Okay. That was unnecessary, but helpful. Okay, how many of you guys are going to just, like, spawn in front of me? That was a bit... I don't think anyone called you a loser. So can't get the timing on that. Ferris wheel. That's probably outside the range of the game. Yep. Okay. It's this one. Oh. Of course it's this one. Hello there. Excuse me. We were told about this joint by an old guy hanging around Hello Work. Right. Hello Work? Yes. Oh yeah, that was my doing. That was your doing what now? Told Kambe over there to recruit a couple of guards. Hamako-san. Okay. Don't do things like that without asking me. I'm not made of money. 5,000 yen for a man to risk his life is a hell of a deal. Right. I'm just amazed Kambe found two guys who took it. Hey, wait a second. We never said anything about life? risking our lives. What is this job exactly? I'll explain everything. Come over here, boys. You see all these restaurants on the river? They're all bars, yes. just like ours. We've all been getting hit by thieves for decades now. Burglars? Nope. These thieves don't steal physical items or money. They steal electricity. What? Say what now? How do they do that? Look over there at those wires. Those aren't public electric lines. The thieves strung those up ages ago. Oh. Do you know who they are? Wait, I've heard about this. Shit. It's the Komi Jewel. Uh, what's the Komi Jewel again? Right. The one of the Ejin Three, the Korean Mafia. Mm. Oh. And didn't you say how they got their name earlier? Yeah, it's not their official name. It's the neighborhood where they're headquartered. Well, it's still kind of hard to say, if you ask me, but I guess I see how they got it. Right. Mm -hmm. They've been jacking our electricity for such a long time. I'm sick of them getting away with it. Each month it costs the bars here tens of thousands of yen. Seriously? Each and every bar is forced to pick up the tab, and they don't reimburse us. Here's a solution. Why not just call the police? I mean, it seems obvious. Tell the cops exactly who's robbing you. They'd leap at the chance to take down a crime faction. True. I'm sure she has a good reason for not calling it in. Am I right? Of course. Whatever the reason, this kind of stuff is why we have cops. The police wouldn't touch Komichua with a ten-foot pole. 
The area is too dangerous, even for them. Seriously, I mean, how dangerous are we really talking? <laughs> you don't come back alive is how we're talking. <laughs> you gotta be exaggerating. Nope. I wish I was. Everyone who gets close to their HQ disappears. Everybody. Yakuza, police, doesn't matter. Not even the other Ijin gangs are willing to go there now. The place is a graveyard. Interesting. Okay, well, do you know anyone in the Kumi Jewel? Of course not. Thank goodness. Well, then we'll have to find one of them while he's away from HQ. They gotta leave sometime. Right. No, you can't tell them apart from civilians. They don't exactly wear freaking pins on their lapels like you, Yakuza. There's True. no way to recognize them. Out of the Ijin 3, they're the most secretive by far. Okay, if there are no other options, then it's back to the original idea. We just go to their HQ. Again, that's suicide. Mm -hmm. You want another idea? I got one. And that is? Cut your power grams. I can't do that, and I shouldn't have to. People's livelihoods are at stake. Come on, there's got to be something we can do. Mm. Ichiban, let's forget this. Seriously, we don't need money that bad. Hey, crazy idea, but why not just cut the damn cord? Long as you know which one to cut. I... Right. Don't be an idiot. He's not. I had the exact same idea. I cut their line yesterday. Cool. What? Good for you. You got a screw loose, lady? I, I didn't like the idea. I tried to stop her. But... Yeah, I felt bad afterwards. Mama was crying, worrying about how they would retaliate. Oh, we've been arguing about doing it for so long. Yesterday, I strolled on up and yanked it out of there. Mm -hmm. Just left it lying in the dirt. Cool. <laughs> I guess I've hit that age where you stop caring. Right. That's not an excuse. What happens now? Well, that's now what we I defend. You guys to figure out. You can't be serious. Okay, so you cut the cord yesterday. Anything happened since then? When Mama showed up to open oh, the, the bar window. this morning, this was on the floor. Someone threw it through the window. Fix the cable by tonight. So they want you to connect it again. What'll happen if you just... Don't. Don't. You think their message might be an empty threat? The thing is, if it's not, we won't know they're attacking until the last moment. Right. Because we don't know what they look like. Plus, no way is it an empty threat. This is true. Look, lady. I get how your bar must be very important to you, and you don't want to close it. But this is insane. Oh, it's fine. And this isn't even my bar. I'm just the barfly who buzzes around here the most. I wanted guards because I'm worried about Mama here. What? So you don't even have real skin in the game? Nope. You should start minding your own business. Which is what I'm gonna do. I'm leaving. Good. Who needs a coward as a guard anyway? Get on out of here if you're gonna cry about it. Right. Fine. Wish I could say it's been nice. Cusco also, I want to point out that Kiryu probably so would have stormed that place. Please forgive us. And got hey, out alive. What are you by now? Do for protection? I'll get their power cable hooked back up. Then, if they're still angry, I'll offer them money not to bother us. I can take out a loan. What? That's ridiculous. We can't let them do this to you. Right. You be quiet. It's your fault in the first place. Stop. She's right. We can't let them get away with this. What now? Mm. Paying off criminals just makes the whole world a worse place. <sighs> the job still pays 5,000 yen? Yeah. Right. I knew that's all Mama could afford. I don't have more. It's fine. I'm in. Hold on, man. It's too risky. Only too Beggars risky if you don't, choosers, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And honestly, I prefer a job where I get to help somebody out. Right. See? Now that's the right attitude. I could tell you were a good guy. Oh. Unlike some. Unlike some. You old battle axe. Are you sure about this? Yeah. I always mean what I say. We'll take the job. Wait a damn minute. We? You're roping me into this? Yep. Look, like if you're not in, don't let the door hit you on the way out. This brave man has a job to do. Uh, do you know how obnoxious you are? Fine, I'll do it. Is everybody happy now? Good. 
so it's settled. There you go, Mama. I got you two guards. Now how about rustling up a drink for me? Set up as creepy as hell. Looks like tentacles. Right. Why do they need so much electricity anyway? I'll find out later. Yeah. Whoa, easy, Tiger. You trying to get wasted? Dude. Yep. We're risking our lives for a measly 5,000 yen. Chill out, man. We're probably not gonna die. Probably. Probably. I'm glad one of us is taking this seriously. It's hitting me for the first time how spooky the Komicho are. Hiding their faces. Mm -hmm. But then again, they've also stayed hidden in their headquarters for freaking decades now. I don't see them coming out to this bar. Not for one power cable. So you think the note was an empty threat? I think they assumed we'd obey. They know people are terrified of them. They right, know that right. For damn sure. Most people would have done whatever was written on that cinder block, no question. But call me sure Most. To believe that too. I doubt they actually plan to show up tonight and break kneecaps or something. Break but what'll kneecaps. happen when they check the cable and see that they didn't scare us into doing it? I mean, maybe they'll just throw another brick or whatever. Then what happens after that? We basically decided we're never hooking it back up, right? How long are they gonna let that slide? Right. Well, if that's the logic, what are we still doing here? Let's walk away. Let's just tell these women it was an empty threat and get out of here. I can hear you over there. <laughs> Damn. She has good ears for an old bat. Quiet. What is it? There's someone out there. Right. I don't see anyone. I swear I saw. Whoa! Oh, what was that? Oh, the popcorn. Teach a bond. You're kind of jumping at things. <laughs> you're making us jumpy for no reason, man. Good evening. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Namba, that's the guy who was at Hello Work. Oh, yeah. Sure is. Guess he's here to spend money while he's unemployed. Typical, isn't it? Nope. That's a sledgehammer. Huh? <gasps> Stop! The Komi Jewel send you. Get your ass back here, boy. Swiggity, swiggity, trying to time to beat that booty. Alone. Why'd you attack us? I was hired to. Some guy said they paid me a million yen to wreck that bar. A million yen? Were they Korean mafia? They were, weren't they? I don't know. I'd never seen them before. They just came up to me in the park. I, I was drinking and minding my own business. But hey, I wasn't about to turn down an easy mill. Right. And you don't even Can't think about getting between me and that money. Let's do it. So, oh. Cool. Want to fight? Okay. Watch out. You're done now. And drop kick. Maybe a little bit overboard, but you know what? It was worth it. The silver safe skeleton key. Moving up in the world. Uh, uh, holy fuck! What's your name? 
I saw you in line at Hello Work. Right. I don't remember what it was. Not so, right? <laughs> yep. What's it to you? Listen, buddy. You didn't really think they'd give you a million yen, did you? Just for trashing a place? You think That's they're scamming question. me? Do you expect anything else from the Korean Mafia? Right. You do know that's who hired you, right? Yeah? Makes you say that. They're the only ones who would want that bar messed up in the first place. Look, we're trying to help you. There's no way in hell they're gonna pay a million to some drunk bum. <laughs> like you're well, an damn. expert. Hey, what did he look like? The guy who asked you to do this. Did you see his face? Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. Come on, we're not fucking around. Cut it out, Namba. If you really want to know, ask the bitch. Bitch? Hmm? Okay. Who shoots? Wait! Bows. Do Ichiban, don't chase him! Stop! They'll kill you if you go on their turf! Did you see that? He was smiling. Right? Yeah. I'm starting to think he wasn't hired by the Komi Jewel. No way. He was a member. Oh shit. This is going from bad to worse. I'm still stuck on the bitch thing. Right. You think there's a woman in the Komi Jewel? How would I know? Anyone could be a bitch these days. This is true. Hey, look. Run! We're sitting ducks. What are we gonna do? Crossbow, huh? That's interesting. Okay. It's all or nothing. Ichi, you need a new to suit. Me one bit if that guy was one of your own, which is the clueless bum. But you have him back now. Then why not let us go? And you won't have our bodies to dispose of. What you and I both know is a huge pain in the ass. Right. So stop. By the way, you know your little power cable? We cut it because it was like tying a noose around that poor bar's neck. If you hang him with it and they close down, you won't be getting that power anyway. So you need to give it up! Right. The one who needs to give up. Look, you guys are real ass mafia, right? You shouldn't be doing small time shit like stealing a lot Small time shit. So cut it out! Fine. I don't care anymore. We're dead. <laughs> That's the face of someone who's just given in to. <laughs> who's just given up and given in to the, the madness. <laughs> Are you satisfied? What? <laughs> no way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thanks, guys. Hey, we're good here. Come on. Is this guy for real? Jesus Christ. Again. Here you probably would have caught at least one of the one of those crossbow bolts. Where's the scratch? <laughs> the scratch is gone. Hmm? <laughs> uh what happened? Hold on. That's a very good question. Right? Oh, no. Huh? Nope. What's up?
<sighs> yes, your life's only worth 2,500 yen. 25 bucks. Sup? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I swear it's not fake. <laughs> I swear it's not fake. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So, what the fuck is this? There's a chest over here that I can get. Seriously. This way, get this part of the map filled in a little bit. Just keep filling in as much of the map as I can. Okay, so. There are two sub stories. The fact that his pigeons glow glow red is a little concerning. J just a smidge concerning. Should I open it? Got it. I can use this key nice. to open up safes. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys. Okay. I'll deal with this one. Right. Hmm? It's spilling out from the property. <laughs> God. It looks like um like a hobo you'd see in like old silent movies, like the stereotypical hobo look. Oh. Where they use the oil paints, not paints, the oil makeup submit makes uh make the thick dark lines. Kind of like, um, Groucho Marx with the the big must, uh, oil, oil mustache. Hey. Hmm. Right. Hey. Um, Okay. With even bigger hair. <laughs> right? Hmm. 
Gomi san. Right. Concerning. Fine. Ten million. Got it. No. Hmm? Oh, great. Sadly, it's not a first. Not a loser. Cool. Check this out. Such a nice face. Okay. thought about getting rid of all this trash right yeah, but it's not just trash <clears throat> it's memories of my wife memories? Um. I used to run this place with my wife we didn't make much but life was good right right I heard this place used to be legit then one day my wife collapsed while tending the store by the time they found her it was too late and she passed on. Oh. Uh, despite her health, she worried about the shop until the very end. And the worst part is that I was off goofing around while my wife was hard at work here at the shop. I've never forgiven myself. It's my fault she's gone. Oh. If I had just been at the shop that day, she would have lived. To think I wasn't there for her. Gomi-san, I tried to keep the place going by myself, but then a thought crossed my mind when I was helping a customer. What if she appraised this? How might she have felt about it? Mm. I asked. Thinking about it that way, I started to see everything in this place like it still had a little piece of her. Oh. From then on, I got too scared to throw anything away. I feared I might end up throwing her away somehow. Next thing you know, the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise, but I could never bring myself to sell it. 
I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her! No, you still have the store. <laughs> yeah, I get how you feel. And I'm sure it was tough losing your wife. Right. But what about all that your wife worked so hard for, huh? What about that? Huh? I didn't even notice this place was a shop until someone pointed it out to me. Mm-hmm. All I saw was a pile of trash. The place you two worked so hard to protect is so covered up, nobody Ow. even knows it's here. If anything has a memory of your life in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself. Yeah. Right. Oh, Gomi-san, I think maybe it's time to bring this place back to its former glory. <laughs> oh, Kyoko. <laughs> Okay, then. I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. Cool. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. I want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. True. What are you going to do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open up shop again. Okay. Well, the pawn shop's now going to open up. My wife gave her all for this place. If she's still watching over me, I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Cool. Here, this is a token of my appreciation. Flame amulet. And keep up the great work at the welfare division, man. Right. If you ever get promoted, maybe you can sneak a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I think I'm going to take off. See ya. Yeah. Take care. <sighs> I should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days. Right. <laughs> Wow, that was fast. Um, sure. Ugh, I'm telling you, the man's gone overboard. He's polluting a precious natural resource. What's he Let doing? Let me assure you, we're doing everything we can to stop him. It's Who's polluting what? Over there. The river's gonna run yellow as mustard at this rate. I Say what now? doubt it'll be changing colors, ma'am. Right. <laughs> Either way, you get that menace to relieve himself elsewhere. Say what now? Uh, why me? <laughs> a golden opportunity. <laughs> so we got a public pisser on our hands, huh? Right. That's nasty. Bet that cop's not too happy about it. Excuse me. Hello there. Hmm? Right. Yeah, a little hard not yeah. to hear. Oh. The golden opportunity. Hmm. Oh my god, all the jokes.
<laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Hmm? Eh. Hey. Oh, great. Christ, all the double entendres. Okay. Arigatou gozaimasu. Sore dewa. Yeah. Well then. Catch the public urinate. <laughs> He's taking the piss. Oh yeah. Seriously? I'd say that guy. I was correct. Go. Uh? Seriously. Right. <laughs> I'd have to stop a dude from kissing. <laughs> oh god, no. No, please no. Seriously. I'm in. Bring it on. Yeah. Oh, and of course he has a knife. Why no? Check this out. Seriously. What is the timing of that? Good spot. Really wish I knew what the timing of that was. Alright, now come along quietly. And zip it up, man. Be decent. Right. Hello there. Well done, Kasuga-san. You've done a fine thing. I try. I try. Why are you so dead set on urinating in there? Right? Although that's a very weird question. Haven't you ever wondered what it's like to drizzle into nature's sweet embrace? No. No, I have not. You get me, right? Nope, not at all. Nope. Mm. All right, weirdo, let's hear the rest at the station. Damn, looks like my luck's run dry. Yeah, yeah, it Thanks has. Thanks for being so cooperative. Here's a little something for helping out our investigation. Thank you. If you see any other suspicious individuals, you contact me immediately. Got it? And you, get a move on. I'll do my best. <laughs> Whew, glad that's over. Uh, to be honest, I kind of have to take a leak too. Seriously?
No, better just find a restroom. <laughs> no, um, I'm letting my sister choose it. And then once I can actually afford it, I'll probably get it done. But I'm letting her choose. I don't know if she's chosen yet or not. And then, um, the other thing is she's kind of sick right now, so... Wait, was that ex an accessory? Oh, it was. Cool. Oh my god. But yeah, it's, right now it's just uh, her to, uh, being able to afford it and then picking out, getting at least an appointment or some some way to get down there to get it done. And then, like I said, I'm letting her choose the color. I have no idea what she'll choose and I'm a little worried about that, but whatever. Yeah, it's... Um, Possibly strip. Okay. So that's fun. She she got home yesterday and it w yesterday and she was like, N no, just don't do it. Don't talk to me. Don't deal with me. I'm, hey. I'm good. Just let me sleep. <laughs> it's a van down by the river. Almost completely filled. A few spots, but not too many. Look, well, minus this thing down here. Oh, you're here. Yes, we are here. Closing for a few hours. Okay. Hey, tell everyone up there to leave. Right. What time is it? Let me sleep a bit more, Hamako san. I'm having the place clean. I need everyone out till tonight. Right, okay. How many customers did you get yesterday? I don't know, at least five. Where were you? I'm exhausted. Small restaurant, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they cater to a very specific appetite. Right. Damn, it's too damp to even dust this thing. Hey, Jibon. Can you deal with these tissues? Really? You do it. It's your job. Right. <sighs> Bodily fluids really aren't my thing. Cut me some slack. <sighs> you want to get paid or not? Would you rather say broke and homeless? No, but it doesn't mean I don't have standards. <sighs> don't be a diva. Right. Yes, a different kind of hun this hunger. Is Sota Kume, president of Bleach Japan's Yokohama chapter. Bleach okay. That that name sounds concerning, but sure. What's all the ragged? Right. Oh, uh, you don't know them? It's no. Bleach Japan. 
Prostitution's got to go! Leave now! Get out of Eijin Cho! Get out! What's bleached Japan? It's a non-profit group. What you'd call an NPO. Been right. around 15 years. Well, he's been Slogans. in prison for 18. Bleaching the gray zones white. You know no. how some things fall into the gray area? Neither black nor white? Yes. Like things that are technically illegal, but cops look the other way because they're victimless crimes. Yes. They don't like that. They want to crack down on all crime, whether it hurts someone or not. They want to bleach the gray so that it's white. This town is just like stream of metaphors, huh? The group's active all over the country now. Makes sense, considering their founder is Ryo Aoki. Who? And that is... Uh, he's the governor of Tokyo? Oh, oh, the one that was cleaning up the city. With that, uh... Kamrocho 3K plan. Wow, you actually got one right. Yeah, he kind of learned that plan in made Aoki real popular. The media adored him before he was governor. But they love him even more now. He Great. resigned from Bleach Japan when he went into politics. But he still sings their praises. The young voters eat it up. Oh. Okay, but why are they protesting right outside this building? Right. This establishment here is registered as a restaurant. It is. But you won't find a speck of food on the second floor. If you're lucky, a waitress might bring you some tea. Of course, you don't pay for that tea. You pay for something else. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. A brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. Yeah, this so? This is crime, pure and simple. Happening right out in the open for decades now. The women who work here have been brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. I... And are you, once they're are in, you they serious? Get out. We demand an end to this human tragedy. We demand it! <laughs> Shut up, you whiners. Right. These women are just working hard at their jobs. So working hard excuses a crime? You could learn from them. What right do you have to tell anyone how to live? And why be so dishonest? Registering yourselves as a restaurant. I'll tell you why. It's because the truth is so terrible! The truth no, is so terrible. It's because grown-ups do things they don't want to, to protect people. You right. The people you're protecting are your loan officer and your debt collectors. You ass. You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Right. Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents. Some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. Right. Did you hear that? Not only are they criminals, they're raising children. How can those oh my children God. turn out normal? At best, they'll grow up hating their completely unfit parents. They are good parents. They keep their children happy and healthy, and that's what truly matters. Right. Show me one, then. Show me a child who's happy being raised by a whore. You aren't even trying to understand. You're just being an asshole. Leave us alone. There aren't any happy kids like that, are there? No child wants a prostitute for a mother. Hey. I never minded it. Right. <gasps> you all came here because you want to get rid of the trash. I got that right? Ooh. Well, here it is. Get ready to catch. Yeah, you, you Wait, hate him on. pretty quickly. Wouldn't that be the... Check <laughs> this! There are several guy, people in this game that you, you just instantly hate. <clears throat> that guy that they mentioned earlier, the Aoki guy. I think you Not run into bad, him um, early in, like, halfway through the first chapter. And you hate him, too. <laughs> The Yakuza series is pretty good at making some characters that you just instantly hate, and some characters that you probably should hate, but you just adore. <sighs> okay. Wow. Oh, that'd be great.
<laughs> Sup? Right. Hmm? Oh. True. Um. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, yeah? <clears throat> Yo. Right. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Stale crackers. Uh -huh. A little moldy, though. Oi. Hold on. Real food? Okay. Hey. I can throw you in I can throw you in to get some fish. I'm sure there's a few in that river. Soka. <laughs> right. Oh. Wow, that was bring it on. Probably one of the weakest examples of ah, oh, this got of wide star fight ever. Okay. Uh, let's burn you. Oh god. Oh, shit. Um I guess you stare down. <laughs> What? What was the stare down for? Okay. Nope. Nope. Oh, I didn't even see that cone. Okay, I'll accept it. Well then. That was fun. Guy be so strong. Uh, right? Whatever. I'll see you around, Grandpa. Uh, sure. You kids have a lot of spunk. Why don't you use it to help your parents for once? I never thought Bleach Japan would resort to this type of thing. Of course they would. Bleach that dude's Bleach such a dick. They really think they can bleach the gray zones? Come on. They swagger around like they've got some noble purpose. But all they really want are donations. Oh. And let's face it, what they're doing is just plain bullying. Yeah. Whatever happened to good manners? Yeah, well, it's pretty late now. It's right, gone. right. Sure. Sorry you had to rescue me twice. It's no problem. Don't sweat it. Call us if you need cleaners again. Right. Hold on a minute. Okay, holding. Hmm? You two are homeless, right? Yeah. Yeah. That that's kind of a pro well, here's the problem. A proposition. What if you just lived here in one of the rooms upstairs? <gasps> what? Huh? Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help. Right. Do you even have a room to spare? Don't the girls need them to work in? 
Well, I'm Make not sure that's a good question. Please, so. so what's the what do I what's required? What the fuck you are you two here, even packing? You get something called a right of residence, which would benefit me. What's a okay. right of residence? It means that you can legally assert that you have the right to live somewhere. Oh. I don't get it. How would that benefit you? Right. Well, I live in a different building. This is my business, but since I don't live here, I don't get that right of residence. Oh, I think I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm leasing this building, you see? And if Bleach Japan really wants to get us evicted... Right. ...they might pressure the owner of the property. Wouldn't put it past them. But... But... If someone here has right of residence, we can fight back. Okay. Once you have that right, the owner can't just evict you for no reason. There has to be a reason. Oh, so us living in the place would be a line of defense for you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You get it. Sounds like a great deal. But you don't mind a couple bums living here? A couple of bums? Well, you two are really my only choice of renters. The women who work here aren't citizens. Oh. So I can't enter into a lease contract with them. But right. Because that's not the only reason I'm making this offer. I'm impressed with what you two did. Sounds oh, so me. because we can actually don't mind being your live -in security fight? Guard. Oh, wonderful. Just promise you won't break the lease. I want your eyes on my shop for a long time. Will do. Leech Japan finds someone else to bother. You got it. They found or so no other places to bother, let's be honest. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Look, Ichiban. A roof. Right. A real roof. Yeah, look, man, it's freaking amazing. This is our castle. A roof, four walls. Uh, oh my god. A soft throne. Actually, this throne's kind of damp. Nothing Concern. Wrong with that is there? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not water. <laughs> Well, just think it's... of all the history you're sleeping with every time you drift off on that mat. <laughs> That's concerning. Always a silver lining with you, isn't it? A little there? concerning. Then again, I guess that's how you got us here in the first place. Right. It's a glass you. half full person. Shibon. Come on. I should okay. be the one thanking you. I'd be dead and rotting in a trash can if you didn't save me. <gasps> well, yeah, true. Actually, you probably would have been put into an incinerator by now. Hey. Why'd you quit nursing anyway? I don't know. You must have been good if you saved me. Right. Truth is, I was smuggling drugs out of the hospital and selling them. Oh. The money was pretty good. I'd imagine and so. Eventually, I expanded to dealing drugs from overseas. How? I got too big. And it all came crashing down. I lost my nursing license, if that wasn't obvious enough. Right. Yeah, man. What were you thinking? <laughs> kind of a boneheaded move. What? Stupid you don't fool. Think I regret it. Okay, well, why not start over? The whole nurse thing is probably out, but you can apply right. your medical skills to something else. Easier said than done. What about you? To what? You got another job in mind? Uh, uh, not really. I've been walking in someone else's footsteps for years, and oh, yeah. now they're washed away. I don't know where to go now that I can't see them. I'm pretty lost. Just a smidge lost. Talking about your patriarch? Yeah. A guy like you, you can find something. What makes you so sure? I'm over 40, you know? <laughs> Weren't you the one just to telling fair. me I could turn it all around and find something? Over 40. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. Was, he, was Kiryu at 40? He was in Life his early work. 20s and zero. Hmm. I think one is hey, somewhere in his 30s. What'd you want to be when you were a kid? Two, he's still probably in his uh, 30s. Oh, 
<laughs> mm. You really want to know? Maybe three or four. Come on, don't it's his forties. Spit it out. Okay, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a hero. A hero. Huh? A hero. What do you mean? He played too you much know, Dragon a Quest. A hero who could save people, <laughs> like in Dragon Quest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the video game. Yes. <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> well, he'd look, Come hold aloft his mighty sword, and say, I have the power! No. Yeah. What? I oh, have a sorry, that's a I? different series altogether. You have to laugh at it. A dream Still is what keeps you going. For me, anyway. Ichiban, you're right. Uh, I am? He is? Yeah, so I see you do it. Become a hero. Oh. Just like you wanted. I was like, what's he right about? Come on, I was just a dumb kid when I wanted that. It was silly. It's not like you <laughs> but you've done something right at now. least. So why not go after the first one you had? Right. Live your life's dream. Right. You're crazy. It's not like being a hero puts a roof over your head. Sure, it's not a job. But if the hero destroys lots of slugs, right? There game, you go. He levels up fast, right? He levels up I'm fast. <laughs> Leveling up in life. Ah, oh, that's a good slogan. Yeah. There needs to be a shirt for Hell that. Hell yeah. Why not become a hero at 40, right? <laughs> that too. It ain't the best age to start grinding, but... <laughs> <laughs> that too would also be a great slogan. Alright then. Why I'm not be a hero up. at 40? <laughs> Let's start a brand new age of heroes! Yeah, I'm with you, Ichiban. Let's have a toast to our new era in our new home. Yeah, to the heroes of tomorrow. Cheers! I think the one concern is with that hero that smiles all the time is, I guess it's the face model, or the or how they do the animation faces in this game. But his smile's a little creepy. Oh. Oh yeah, this dude. <clears throat> um. Please, let me go. I swear. I'll tear that fucking bar down. He um he looks like he's having a bad time. Look, I know I messed up. I, I don't even want the money anymore. J just give me another chance. Uh, uh, he, he's uh, having uh, a bad time. How about this? I could kill the two guys who got in the way. I already know how to do it. He's having a very oh, bad like time. That, yeah? You want them dead, don't you? Don't you? What now? What? I'm sorry, I don't understand that. The subtitles don't understand that. Wait, I didn't catch that. I should have known not to rely on trash like you. Oh. Oh. Well. That was nice. Okay then. Not concerned at all. The dragon of Yokohama. <laughs> oh. Well, you've been missing for a bit. Okay. Thank you. Have a see you tonight. Aww. Wow. Some dude's like, some dude's like, did you hear that? Dachi, son, just ignore it. <laughs> so, you 
who actually know this guy? Sadly. Yeah, he used to be a Connor Gallagher Aww. police detective. Detective? Yeah, detective. Yep. Then I went to work for the driver's license center. How in the world did you find me? Right. I figured you didn't make it out of that building alive. Oh, I was fine. I, well, not completely. I uh, lost my job. Uh oh. What? And I was just a few months shy of securing the maximum pension payment. Yeah. Well, it's just a few months shy of retirement also, too. Damn. Does that mean you found this place all? Well, at least own? you didn't die. <laughs> That's the other cliche. Remember how I gave you that smartphone? Yeah. yeah. I wish you would have called before you just showed up. Well, I did, but your phone was dead. Well, I uh, guess when a guy gets shot and left for dead, charging his phone isn't exactly priority one. Right. Yeah, can't say. So I how'd you find him phone. if the phone was dead? Sure, I get it. But when it's completely dead, I can't track you. Track me? With GPS? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't know what that is. Dude, what the fuck? Smartphones have a system that pinpoints right. the phone's location. <laughs> Did you hear that? GPS. No. You can Don't put it on your phone to send its coordinates elsewhere. That's what this guy did. Get it? Uh kind of. <laughs> you know, you never said why you got fired. Ah, uh, a whole sheet of charges. Breaking and entering. The, the other thought. The other one is. Public the other one is. Uh, Guess I should be glad I'm so unimportant. Wait, did, did y'all get a male prostitute? Uh, what the hell's going on here? Was any of that my fault? Of course it was. How did it happen? Are you aware that Kasuga was shot in Kamurocho? Yes. Yeah. Sad story. Yes, he's aware. Did he mention it was at a meeting of Omi Alliance officers who were in bed with Tokyo PD? I was the one who snuck Kasuga into that meeting. Yeah. Well, Tokyo PD had some choice words about that. Absolutely disgraceful, being two of them. Oh. Kanagawa police agreed. They gave me the axe and themselves a nice pat on the back. Oh, that's great. I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Well, you can make it up to me by helping me out again. I haven't given up on nailing the commissioner. That sounds wrong Who's considering that? what we were just talking about. He means the police commissioner. Important guy. Why him? He took bribes from the Omi Alliance while they took over Kamrods. Right. I'm sure he did. But I still need proof. Okay. And how's Ichiban supposed to help with that? Well. By getting me closer to Arakawa. Okay. The person I know of with ties to the commissioner. Kasuga used to be one of his boys, at least. Until the man put a bullet in his chest. Right, right. That Not might be a little bit of a problem. I still am. You need more self-respect. Right. Why do you care so much about exposing the commissioner's corruption? Actually, that's well, a good question. It's not out of the goodness of my heart. It's revenge I'm after. Revenge. Yeah. Um. Okay. That story started 20 years ago. A rich old couple oh, no. had been murdered <clears throat> during a home invasion. Okay. The suspect was a neighbor with priors, a guy named Kasumi. I made the arrest myself. Okay. But before the trial, a witness claimed to have seen Kasumi in a different place at the time of the murder. I interviewed the witness, and the alibi checked out. <laughs> My purpose was innocent. Huh. What'd you do? I reported it to HQ, of course. Kasumi needed to be released immediately. <laughs> doesn't, though. Heroes well, come in all shapes all and of sizes. The <laughs> officers knew the alibi was pretty much airtight. But the captains were skeptical. They questioned the witness over and over, and they were relentless. Finally, he said he wasn't mm. actually sure he'd yeah. seen the suspect. They come in all shapes and sizes. Why did he backtrack like that? <laughs> he was coerced. Chief of Kanagawa Police, Juro Horinouchi. Mm. That's who the commissioner is. But what was Horinouchi's reason? Well, by that time, that's a good question. He offered a transfer to Tokyo Police. The last thing he wanted was a big scandal. Oh. Which is what it would have been if Kusumi, who'd been jailed for months, turned out to be innocent. Right. That reveal would have been great. Tokyo PD offer at stake. He couldn't have that. So he resorted to witness intimidation. 
Oh, that's hell? always fun. Well, he tried to justify it to us. Said if the guy really was innocent, there'd be other evidence of that. But there wasn't. And in the end, Kasumi was convicted and sentenced to 17 years. Oh, fun. His wife and child were still reeling from it when he hung himself from prison. Oh, Where that's was even Horibushi more cheerful. When that happened? In his cushy new Tokyo PD position, playing dumb. Playing <laughs> dumb, of course. Makes me sick. Kanagawa's had this problem for a while. Too many cops in the EG and Three's pockets. They're always teetering on the edge of scandal. So everybody who can is always trying to get transferred, especially the higher ups. Oh, rats, leaving a sinking ship. Okay. And some were willing to convict an innocent man to save their careers. That's fucked up. Well, right, I felt right. The same way back when I was a young rookie. So I leaked the original alibi to the media. No. Oh. Yeah, but unfortunately, Horinouchi wasn't as clueless as most bureaucrats are. He found out about the leak immediately through his buddies in the public security division. Seriously? The info I gave them never saw the light of day. And next thing you know, I'm stamping driver's licenses. No. Oh, not sure fun. why I was transferred instead of fired. Horinouchi must have figured he was safe. And right, now he's right. the police commissioner. Now, if I were a smarter guy, I'd just forget the whole damn thing. But when I get to the pearly gates, I want to be able to look Kasumi in the eyes. Wow, you Aww. boys are talkative. What are you yakking on about? Good morning, Hamako-san. Uh, this guy's a former Kanagawa... Don't good morning me. It's already 10 o'clock. Okay. You're all supposed to be at Hello Work looking for jobs, not lazing around here. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. That's right. If we don't get there fast, all the good jobs will be gone. Sorry, Adachi-san. We gotta go find some work. Right. Well, apparently so is he. <clears throat> I'll go with you. Right. Huh? Why? Well, he has no job anymore, broke right? You know. So... Broke? Don't you have savings? After working all those years? No. Nope. Yeah. I didn't save a yen. I thought I'd have my sweet ass retirement pension. <laughs> Never was much of a saver, honestly. I know that feeling. As a kid, I used to crack open my New Year's money. <laughs> yeah, the pension was all I had. And it's gone now. Shit! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. They let someone so irresponsible issue driver's licenses? Hey, part well, of it's I mean... just bad luck. It's not my fault booze and women are expensive hobbies. <laughs> Come on, let's get this over to Hello true. Work already. Yay. From deadbeat to freelancer. <laughs> Yay. He He's upgraded from deadbeat to freelancer. Isn't that great? Or over here just to get this little section done. And then that way's blocked. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, this is when we unlock the other job. Hmm? It's a baseball bat. Up. Uh huh. Damn. Seriously. Listen. Come on. You can do it. I'm tired of this shit. You think there's some dude somewhere that really? sensed him pull the bat? And was like, oh, the hero has been chosen. <laughs> right. Right. 
Right. Uh huh. It took him 40 years to find his special sword. <laughs> the savior we didn't want. I don't know even know if we need. Hey. Right. <laughs> Imagine you found the goddamn katana. But we're dad hunters. Yeah. Um. What's up? They're kind of broke. <laughs> you feel like using that holy sword to smite some <laughs> monsters? Oh. Oh, that's right. Whoa! What just happened? Did you see those guys freaking trip? Huh? What are you raving about? Right. Uh, you know this isn't a video game, right? Technically, it is. Come back to Earth. Hmm. I forgot about what that. Else? Well, whatever. <laughs> At least it's more fun for me. Yeah. He's so delusional that he ends up seeing it's people right transform there. from now on. Hands thrower. Watch this. Sure. Have fun with this. There we go. Cool. Get alive. Yeah. Check this out. Oh, I actually got the timing on that one down. You. Get some flaming breath. Spicy. Let's go. Yeah. Come on now. Damn. I'm up. Stay down. Won't get up here. Should I not get serious? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Take your best shot. Cool. Ow. Yeah, just him in the nuts. Moving up in the world. Okay. Healing powder. Ah, fucking hell. What's even the point of shaking down guys as broke as us? Right. For real though, neither of you saw them transform? Not even a little bit? Nope. Huh? I, I swear, they freaking transform! Your imagination is officially off the rails, man. Right. But it seems so real. Uh, how could it just be imagination? I mean, as long as we win, I don't care how delusional you are. Sure. Yeah, I think it's just all that hero talk of yours. It makes you see trolls and golems everywhere. Yeah. You're crazy, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it takes a certain kind of crazy to want to be a hero anyway. Hell, I don't care if you wear chainmail around town. If you feel like it'll give you some oomph in a fight. <laughs> Maybe I will. All right, fellow adventurers. Our great journey has begun. Uh-huh. <clears throat> According to Kasuga's oh, wild sure, imagination. Lead on to the bountiful coffers of Hello World. Yeah, this part why are is you? sorely lacking in coin. Pretty soon we'll why are you indulging him? Booze. I mean, uh, mm, medicinal herbs. Right. Yeah. We need to grind for some cash, huh? Just like in Dragon Quest. Life really is an RPG when you think about it. Sure. More so when the RPG was a practical joke and people actually enjoyed it. Okay. Ah, you don't say. Suppose I should give you some sort of present. Oh, right. well, you don't have to do that. I'm sorry. I guess I made it sound like I was asking for one. 
<laughs> You're only gonna turn this age once. Why not let me celebrate? But aren't you broke, mister? Aren't you poor? <laughs> it's the thought that counts. <laughs> well, you got me there. But still. Mister, isn't it hard enough just trying to survive out here? Right. It's nice of you to think of me, though. Thanks. Sure. Kid, why are you talking to this old man? You're a good kid, Shotakun. Oh, I'm gonna be late for cram school. I gotta go. See you later, mister. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Okay. Hmm? Might be hard to track him down. Probably better off. Right, right. I'm not suck complaining, old man. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Right. He dropped it. G and I. Okay. <laughs> you just had to talk to the dude. Wow. The good old days. Uh. Oh. find out later he goes incredibly overboard. Anyway, off to the workplace. I'm watching that corner just making sure it doesn't pop back up again. <sighs> okay. These guys turn into. <laughs> okay. What the hell? A dude with a sword. Uh, with, uh, with a shield. A trash can shield. Great. Uh, great kick there, sir. You, you did a good. Okay. Oi. Um. <sighs> Great. Ow. Right. Okay. Uh, oh. Hajachi, these friends of yours? <sighs> no. Seriously? How so? Right. The Yokohama Pink Panthers? Twenty years. <clears throat> Hold on. Right. No. Hey. What? 
Yeah, that's kind of an obvious point. No. He didn't quit. Oh. But that also... Y you guys do realize this means that... We're able to beat you up too. Why are you pulling us into... Oh. Okay. Bro, pickpocket. Damn it! I need to get the timing better. No, what did you just? Ow. Break an entry, man. Let's go. How? Come on. Go in it. Oh, okay. I, I see the timing now. Right. I feel the stats going up. Hell yeah. Well, to be fair, nice. do you count it as imagination or incredible delusion? Don't forget this about us this time. All he heard was that they're thieves. He didn't hear. Again, Pink Panthers? Really? Right? No. Oh. A new norm. <laughs> oh, I'll be fun. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, comparatively, I Ichiban could do about the same amount of harm, if not more, of just being around him. Should I open it? Open it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember if I see them more often or whatever. Yes. Hello there. I've got a home. The janitor. <laughs> right. Thanks. Yep. Huh? Director. <laughs> yep, he's the director. <laughs> yes, he does. And his retinue here. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Right. And a fired cop. Um, I'm sorry, I can't. A special oh. bathhouse. Hey. Right. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> it's not even that illegal. Huh? 
right? Looks like a potato. <laughs> hey. I mean, Kiryu at least had an excuse, because he was consistently, consistently getting pulled into something Yakuza related and had to fight. So he at least got workouts consistently, even if he didn't want to. But, yeah, this dude was in prison for like 18 years. The battle is on! So why does the slasher look like a kid in college? Watch this. Have fun with this. Good luck next time. Did you have to moan that way from me just randomly running into you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's right, walk into it. Be an idiot. Okay, so that should cover most. Most of that place. Oh well. Off to the soap land. So what I do oh god. That's a lot of people. Oh well. The pimp master. Okay. I got this. That's fun with this. Watch this. Wait. Why is this dude called the pimp mat? Where is he? Let's beat down the pimp master. figured out the timing now. Okay. It's weird. You have to wait till it it's like a second after it it closes in. Uh is this what I'm using? Yeah. The adults ruler. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, no, there there's like an early point in like the first Um... Arigatou In like the first, like, uh, chapter... No, second chapter, where you're beating up two dudes in the middle of the street, <clears throat> and you just see this one girl cut walking down the street, and then she looks up, turns around, takes out her phone, and just goes, Nope! <laughs> So what's this quest over here? Sub story. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Jeez, the hell's up with this guy? Multiple questions. Just another crazy off the streets. 
Nothing out of the that, That's special. Okay, guys. That's a special Let's level of crazy. Roger. D do we have to? Come on. Joyful Jake. <laughs> Weak. You're in it now. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. Have fun with this. Watch this. Okay, he resisted that. I'm up. It's concerning. Go with it. Can, can you not do a hip thrust at me, please? That'd be great. Man, what was his problem? I swear, sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Uh, you'll get used to it. <laughs> I don't want to get used really to it. I'd rather not. <laughs> ah, looks like we've got <clears throat> ourselves quite the specimen. Huh? Okay. I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what data you're hiding. Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> hey. So funny you mentioned you doing? Pokemon earlier. Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're what? Some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. Sujiman Sensei? What is that exactly? Speaking of Pokemon <laughs> references, I, your I forgot about How that. How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. That sounds great. Hey, Ichiban, let's go. <laughs> you, you just want snacks. You seem a little sketchy to you. A smidge. You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Right. Let's get a move on. Right. Fine. <laughs> Why does chat pause to this girl? This place I call the Sujimon Center. It's a fully functional research lab. You mean your uh -huh. fully random office room? Anyway, you came here to learn about Sujimon, did you? He just Allow randomly to went to play places, started Sujimon taking pictures of people. Monsters of men that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Right. Hence, Sujimon. Uh huh. Okay, sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Okay. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Really? Then you're going around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. World peace? Think about it. Uh, basically, yes. Teams with all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around? And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when you put it that way. Indeed. I just want to point out that this People game became an RPG entirely because of, of an April Fool's joke. How can I identify them? They're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up mm -hmm. to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. <laughs> but what made you decide to do this in the first place? Let's just say I had a rough <laughs> past. The take Don't you mean hard? I'm contributing to a peaceful <laughs> world, and I take that very seriously. So, how much data have you collected so far? That really was the gayest episode of that show. Every time the I gayest episode of Pokemon they will always be the episode where it was two Metapods hardening to each you other. You say that's hampered progress. 
Yeah, I bet that would. <sighs> I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters or getting his hands dirty. Um. Um. Can you not look at me that way? Well, hope you find your guy. Let's roll, Namba. <laughs> Come on, hear me out for a minute. What? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. Of course he does. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. Now, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly. Yes? Sure. So, I was thinking, why not gather data while you're at it? Okay. Easier said than done. Perhaps. But a comprehensive Sujimon encyclopedia is what this world needs. Is it though? How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. Hear that? Is the Still one if you get one. all of them a... Yes, I do like completion rewards. If, is the one that you get uh, for really getting 100% a charm that makes shiny show up? Benefits. Exactly. Glad you understand. Let's hop to it then. So, how do we go about recording your data anyway? Ah, that's simple. It this is? This custom application I made does all the work. Okay. As for how it operates, well, I think a live demonstration <laughs> might best get you up to speed. It's Thank not just a horny dex, it's basically um, all the random encounters you come across in this game. Who are these goons? Let's just say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? Uh, not sure where you're going with this, but let's go with red. Right. Okay. Let's go with the fire type. Red, it is. All right. You two, give red here some backup. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Now, give them a taste of what I pay you for. Huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Yep. Yes, in fact, I do. Every time you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. That's freaking nuts. Right. Gentlemen, I choose you. Oh, there it is. Get ready for a Sujimon battle. Not a loser. Cool. Cool. Uh, Mega Swing? This. Let's go. Get Let's go. Uh, you, good sir. Let's do it. Observing the area. Um. Okay. Well done, sir. I'm up. Alright. Don't get caught. Bounce. Yeah, it's a thing. This is definitely a thing that's happening. So literally every single clearly I chose the right people for the job. Every single person you come across counts as a quote no Sujimon. Or all the enemies you fight count as a Sujimon. Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? The piss wizard. Go me.
Yeah. That's the idea. Defeat lots of Sujimon, collect lots of data. And as I'm promised, more concerned about the one guy in the giant case. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion milestones. Okay. It's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, there's something in it for us, so we might as well give it a try. Right. We're in no position to be picky. Yeah, you're right. Don't forget, the world's counting on you. So you gotta dispatch them all. Then you'll be the next Sujimon master. You did have to stare into the camera for that. Well then. Oh, hello, old man. But yes, that's indeed a thing that happens now. Hey. Right? Oh, really? You know him. Hmm. Uh. Maybe something handmade. No. Right. So, Jana. Oh, no. Um, okay. Sure. What do you need? Arigatona. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it keeps get and then it has things from other Yakuza games too, so it just gets weirder. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Yakuza! <laughs> what makes you weirder is that's... I think they're going to stick to this like whole RPG thing for, for now until they cha decide to change to someone else. Or it's like a sub-game that actually involves Kiryu. So... Yeah. They're, they're going to let their weirdness go. Mizuki-san, their time is up. Okay. Go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Ew. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, who'll notice? Ew. Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hi. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing okay. too much work. 
And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. Right. If it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's Damn. out of your control. Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist. Bit extreme. Too, but come back in as soon as you feel better. Okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Mm-hmm. Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? No. Oh, no. Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. Right. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. And that principles, yeah, those I'm principles are. Yeah, I'm grateful that put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. Ichiban. Ichiban, what's the hold up? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? Yes. Well, I've been to my share of back alley soap lands, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. Hey, their problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll um, call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? I mean, yes, technically. This is Seiryu clan territory? <clears throat> well, this just got complicated. Really? How hey, so? Kasuga, we need a scram. <laughs> well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh. I'll take the job. I'll start any time you want, boss. Right, right. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. Yep. You need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know True. what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Yeah, but what about those two? Uh, Prostitution's gotta go! No oh. more Ichi Cho! Hello, friends. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yep. Oh. Well. Oh, right. As men salons or bubble massages. <laughs> oh, fun. Listen. Yeah, those are, that's the Team Rocket. Yeah, the Bleach Japan. For the fun of it. <laughs> well, damn. Right. Right. <laughs> oh. But okay. Oh, great. Yep. You 
Seriously. Hey. True. What's up? Yo, right? It's work. Right? Matt, don't do it for him, do it for the girls. Yo. Wow. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> right. Hey. That's a bit more than ten. to keep moving. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. A bit. Huh? 41. Fifty-nine. Yes. Yeah. No. To be fair. There, there's going to be several of those things. 
in this game. Like, the sub-stories in Yakuza are notorious for being things that occur. What? Oh. Yep. Mmm. Okay. Okay. I know one of the side quests that's gonna that happens in front of this place involves a character from wow. Yakuza 2. I think yep. a sub story from Yakuza 2. Hmm. And that one was weird. This one's weird. It it it's, it's just weird all around. There is no like not weird spots. Nah. <laughs> right. Mm hmm. Yeah. A nurse and a cop. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sure you can come up with something creative. Don't get run over. 
Hello, friends. Um. Okay, then. I'm up! Let's go. That's a good charge. Moving up in the world. Look at me go. That's not creepy at all. Dan, it's full. Hey, look over there. That's Nanaha. Let's get some answers out of her. Right, I right. How? Doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh. I'm meeting someone inside. Okay, then. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Could be. Let's try and eavesdrop on their conversation. The attempt will be made. Can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Very smooth. Sorry you had to come all the way out here. Incredibly smooth. Are you all right? You look really tired. Oh, it's my health problems. <laughs> These days. We should get down to it. First of all, the money. Right. He said money. He's got to be her other man. Hold your horses and see the transaction go down. Okay. Maybe we don't need the I'm worried. Don't tell me you Your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. Damn. After all this time. This sounds wrong. Don't you want that for him? No, please. I want Dad to have peace. Okay, oh, what? Okay. It's just my father's. Oh. Wow, their phone speak is horrible. <laughs> First timer, huh? Two million. Nothing to sneeze at. Right. You think Nanoha-san's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? 
I don't know. We just have to ask her and find out. Right. Oh, hey. Oh. Ow. Ow. Why, why are you uh, sorry, crying man. that hard? Hey, old man. <laughs> Apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah. How are you going to make this right? He's got a broken bone. Come a on, broken bone? Shit. Seriously? Sorry, we're in a hurry. Right. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet. And hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast! Okay. Yeah. You're in it now. Fun with this. Color gang. There we go. Dying and dashing. Oh my god. Okay. Watch this. Have fun with this. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> well, that was a thing. Damn it. And she's she's gone. Uh. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Yeah. That dude doesn't look suspicious at all. And that place is what? The Social Welfare Corporation? Social Welfare. Sounds like an old folks home. Oh. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. A bank? But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so we know Nano has been working at the Soapland to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah. Right. So maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. Well, then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. It's hardly two shady. Two million I don't seems care how an classic extreme, though. Is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. <laughs> he just said no. Sounds like a great idea. I need to do that too. Just... Right? Yes, Pop this is the front desk that. of Sunlight Castle. Sunlight uh, Castle. Is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mukoda? Yes, okay. Her father is a resident here. How may I help you? Thank you. We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. Right. We're not right. here to see him, actually. <laughs> Truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Aww. Nanoha son said your facility is great, so. I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Lessee? Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. Okay. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. It's... Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Damn. 
Something's definitely shady. Bit extreme there. Place. Although, to be fair, if you saw those three at your front door, would you let them in to explore at all? Like, seriously, at all? No, no, you would not. You know you not you're a crazy person. Now. Big dog. Stern stranger. <laughs> Go beat down that stern stranger. I was actually wondering if he actually survived. Ow. How can you get the time? Oh god. Ow. Yep, I missed all of those. Watch this. No, but take a nap. Check this out. Let's go. I got this. This one. Go in here. Fight. Okay. Features. Please no. Oh, it's a taunt? Okay. Seriously? You were going to die to that. It didn't matter what you were doing. You were taunting the wrong person. Ow. Oh, he's dead. Nice! Sex appeal punch. <laughs> Wait, where'd you see sex appeal punch? No. Oh, <laughs> the healing move. Ew. Slick tongue. Okay. Concerned, but sure. Okay, so you... Your next thing is Batbreaker. Can't change jumps yet. Your next thing is Push and Shove. Yours is Detective's Determination. Good, good, good. Good, good. Oh, yeah, there's that too. So, there are these random quizzes you can do. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Uh huh. Will you tell me how to get to the station. Huh? What nonsense you speaking? Would English. you tell me how to get to the station? Oh shit, it's English. Seriously? That's how you tell the difference between English and Japanese? <laughs> Don't worry! Oh no. Uh -huh. That didn't do it, huh? Okay, let's see. Oh no. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their English. Huh? Sure. <sighs> Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right. <laughs> go, go, go. Go your way. And believe in yourself. Oh, all right. What? Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> Not bad, huh? If you came down the street, really paid off. Yeah, I guess so. If you came down the street and were asking someone how to <laughs> get I somewhere, say? and they just you can't did that, at that level, how do you expect to? How would you react to that? Globalization. Can you repeat that? <laughs> how would I'm you? Ex saying you need an hmm. international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. 
This is a school? <laughs> oh, we're a bar of vocational, huh? <laughs> yep. Been going here a while now. And guess how many certs I've racked up? What? 50. 50? It's, it's... For real? That's crazy. I yeah, he, uh, that apparently, I guess, I forgot that's how they tell the difference man. between English and that's Japanese. You build yourself as an individual. If you're the go, only go, one with certifiable skills, <laughs> be the best that you can. Hey, I know. Can Why you tell me where the... Can you tell me where the train station yeah. is? For a limited time go only. down! Take rights! Might as well give it a go, shot. go, go! I mean, you do want to develop your personality. Don't you? Well, let me put it that way. Sure. <laughs> Why does English have to be just a random screaming? Right uh, okay. Honestly, I, I, I'm kind of curious to see what to do that, but with the Japanese voice cast, because I want to see if it's well, just like that weird school. too. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry too. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Oh, hello, Ikari-san. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? And that's I mean, the entire reason he like keeps coming indoors, here. But <laughs> yeah. Say, who did you bring along? Oh, right. He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trial. Right. Yeah, and of course, I was the one who invited him. <laughs> So that's what this is. Right. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl, you sly dog. Oh, wow. Thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. Uh, it was nothing. It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. Aw. <laughs> Ain't he sweet? So my name's Miyakoshi, and I'm the school receptionist. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, and the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san. Noted. Okay, well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears. Miyakoshi-san is lending us her precious time. Stop no spacing out. You're not helping. <laughs> you, you... So what we aim mm. to do is provide certified training for all kinds of job seekers and hobbyists alike. Okay. Just so you know, our pass rate is second to none. Okay. We're here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Onabara, knowledge is yours to own. Whoa, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome. Interesting. We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. You know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, sure. what's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Can you just be quiet? <laughs> anyway, I think I got the gist of it. I'm actually more interested can, in that personality can, can development you stop? part, if anything. Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Okay. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. You got it. Kasuga-san, are you... Yeah, yeah let's, do, let's this. do this. Perfect, right? Which exam would you like to take? This one? Make sure you have a pencil. It's a sport where skiers slide down the snowy slopes on a pair of skis. The side of the most secure to skis to a pair of tools that help them stable. What are these called? Poles? <laughs> Marathon is a track and field event that requires running a distance of whatever. Um. Ballad marathon, I guess. Golf is placed on a course for golfers. Go to hit the ball into the hole a few strokes as possible. Each course has a present. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Reaching the hole in the exact number of represents it is called Paul. Doing so, one below is called Birdie. What's the term for a hole? Reach three. Uh, Albatross? Albatross. Baseball is a team sport. Can be switched between offensive and defense. The pitcher's defensive. On defense, the goal is to throw a ball in such a way that the batter often strikes out. This is known as breaking ball, which mm. is the following is not a type of breaking ball. A <sighs> volley. Mm. 
I think I got that right. Sports is not my forte. I take it I passed. Wait, what? Where did you other three come from? Where'd those other three come from? That should just about wrap it up. Th Whew, not bad for your first time, but long and treacherous is the road to mastery. Just ask this guy. This guy never shuts up, does he? Right. What did you think of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can say with confidence, I've never studied so much in my life. But hey, it was fun. It was kind of nice being in a classroom again, too. I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. Right, That's right. It. Would you be interested in... It's free to enroll, of course. You only have to pay per class. Basically, it's a certificate fee. Okay. So what if you got the loose? Besides, you can trust me, Akoshi son. I know I do. Yeah. Okay, you made your point. But I am curious which aspects of myself could use some fine tuning. Might as well find out, right? Right. That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit, you know. Please let me know when you found a. Sure. Once I figure out where to start. You gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? Hmm. I suppose some guidance would be in order. <laughs> then allow me, master no. of fifty plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. No. Ooh. Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, Ikari-san? By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave old Shrubhead to me. I'll show him the ropes. You really have no filter, do you? No, he does well, not. By this point, Ikari-san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. Aww, uh, I guess that's kind of sweet to I'm say. Determined. You hear that? I'm counting on you, senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Mikoshi-san? I'm smart. Uh, if you say so. Anyway, Kasuga-san, welcome to the start of your future. Right. Can I help you? We have new certifications available. Okay, so one that I know I can do. If I had the money. Jesus Christ! So, I'm concerned now because... It's 500 bucks, 300 bucks. The dude- Come back when you're ready. The dude has spent- Has, uh, has gotten 50, right? How much money did you fucking spend? Also, check the smartphone. The Biting Barker. Punkling. Okay. That That's just special. The Pimp Master? <laughs> that's just wrong. Oh yeah, don't I actually have some DLC? Okay then. Let's put 
the thing so he can't be stunned. Give him the fire. Since he's a mage. Can't be enraged. And sure, why not? For now. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah. This way. But yeah, that's how the Yakuza goes. The weird sub-stories. Just no idea what the fuck to say to them. another one, which is coming right around here. Those are three guys that all look the exact same. Oh. Okay. Okay then. Answer? Yeah. Oh, the two escapists. Pressured cook. Mysterious meat smith. people back to life, do I? Nope. Okay. You. Okay. I checked out one of them. You'll be fine. Nope, not that one. This one. When did I get a stick? Really, the six better. Okay. Uh, food. Food would be good. Preferably 
one that does not cause me to run into anybody else. Oh. Excuse me. This way. Uh, I don't know what the combination should be. Well, it's three. So, that, that, and... Sure, oolong tea. Let's go with that. Now then, let's go. Nope, wrong place. Oh my god. Why? Chinese Mafia. What the? They're using claws. These guys are like two levels ahead of me. Two or three levels ahead of me. I still hit that other dude. He, I swear he walked out of it. Okay. Um, this guy. Have fun with this. Cool. Wanna fight? Let's get rid of this guy. Come on, let's go. Cross chop. took care of him. That guy. Way down there. Ow, if I can get the timing down better. Watch this. Like a baby. Mm -hmm. mm. Good for you. moving, comforting low hum, kicking back in a cold but comfy seat in complete and total darkness. Place is perfect for a nap. No. <laughs> yeah. Concerning. I'll stop by again next time class is canceled. I don't remember anything about the movie though. Oh. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> Vintage film theater. Why well, does that look like Jaws? Show old movies here. Yeah. We're not an inn, you know. Have a little respect, huh? Uh, this is a classic, too. 
Is that Japanese Jaws? Hey, mister. Interested in watching a movie? We've got some classic titles in-house. No, oh, well... Uh... Well, I also get kind of sleepy when I'm in the dark watching a movie I don't really understand. Right. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's quite all right. But just because a film is old doesn't mean it's hard to follow. Old films span a whole range of genres from sci-fi to romance. Yeah. Suspenseful thrillers to fun for the whole family. And of this course, we have many titles are just as spectacular as the latest and greatest. Guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Huh. These were long before CG, which means things like real explosions on the set doesn't get much better than that. True. In fact, I'll say it's downright fresh. So much so that I'm confident you'll feel refreshed by the time the credits roll. Are you All sure right. about that? I'll bite. You must really love movies. Your eyes light up whenever you talk about them. <laughs> well, I didn't choose to be a curator of vintage films for nothing. I simply right. want nothing more than for people of today to watch these films and find some joy. Even if it's just a little, it'd be a waste if they were that's left That's a for nice time. thought. Wouldn't you agree? But then, I suppose that's entertainment. An ever fleeting sparkle. Though it would be fantastic if people saw these films as a brilliant little sparkle in their own lives. <laughs> I get you. So that's why you opened up the theater. Correct. Right. The Seagull <laughs> Cinema is a place where anyone of any age can come to appreciate the classics. Though anyone also includes those who fall asleep during the screening <laughs> mm -hmm. regardless this is a good opportunity for you to get a taste of the classics for yourself okay and since it's your first time this one's on the house really? why thank you. you sure quite i'd like you to see all the good this place has to offer well, sure why not I'm okay. excellent so i'll do this and then save and then call it a night Call it a day because I have to. Today's get showing is a monumental piece. Robo Cook. Culinary <laughs> drama. I forgot about this. Action masterpiece. I can watch this over and over again Robo and Cook. never get tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're gonna watch too? Of course. Of course. As a curator, I'm allowed to watch any film I want at any time I please. All right. Right. Well, it's about to start. No sleeping during the screening now. We must show our utmost respect for those who brought these splendid works to life. I dare say that even blinking would be a waste of precious screening time. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, shit. This place is weirdly comfy. Damn. Now I'm sleepy as hell. Oh, that guy was nice enough to let me in here. Don't fall asleep. Are you ready for another weird minigame?私には記憶はない。何のために生まれたのか。家族。友も。愛するものもわからない。だが、これだけはっきりとわかる。私は料理のために生きるのだ。Okay. Okay. Yeah, to admit. Ah, oh, shit. That was my bad. Oh, 
I almost nodded off there. Seriously? Almost nodded off. Oof, I, I made it think. through. Right. Galaxy, <laughs> sleepy Seriously? Old. Is this a a cooking common uh common writer or sub super sentai kind of thing? <laughs> Was awesome. Uh huh. Oh, it's just getting good. What's the good part? Awesome. Whew. At least I was able to stay awake. Right. That was pretty good, though. Guess it doesn't matter how old it is. A good movie's a good movie. Right. I probably would have gone my whole life without watching one of these if it wasn't for this place. This guy really wants everyone to enjoy the classics, huh? There's still a lot I haven't seen, so. I should come take a breather when I have time. Thanks for today, Mr. Curate. He fell asleep. <laughs> oh, sure. Respect the classics. <laughs> okay, get food. Safe. Call it a day. Please, no enemies. No enemies, no enemies, no enemies. Let me get in here. Thank you. Um. Okay. So these are like two. Scone and... Coffee? No. Earl Grey tea. We have to go British. That was not it, apparently. Um... Blue Mountain Coffee and... Let's go with that. Okay, with that, I'm calling it a day. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting, uh, 
Well, at least on the weekdays. Not Friday. I'll get on... Start getting on about 2 or 3, and then go until about now-ish. And then weekends, I'll figure something out. Probably about around my old time. Of just, like, 11 or midnight or whenever the fuck I feel, felt like it. Anyway. I'm... Got to go. Got to go, got to go, got to go. So. Have a good one. Later.